this is Linda Sherman, at Linda Sherman at Twitter, and I'm here with Darren Rouse, at ProBlogger on Twitter. Yeah, it's nice to see you, Linda. Thank you so much for talking to us today. We are here at Blog World LA, and Darren spoke here brilliantly as usual. Everybody, that's one of the things that everybody wants to do when they go to a Blog World is see Darren speak. And um, he has something to share about blogging from the heart and and combining that with being practical and I'd like him to share that with you. Yeah. So uh, uh, yesterday I talked a little bit about um, blogging from the heart but blogging smart and really it came from a couple of conversations that I had with two different bloggers. One emailed me and said, Darren, I've been blogging from the heart for so long now and uh, the good opportunities that I thought would come have not come. And I hear that from a lot of bloggers, uh, that they, they hear this message, just blog from the heart and good opportunities will come to you. And the reality is that that happens to a few people, but most people, um, just blogging from the heart is not quite enough. And so uh, at the un other end of the spectrum, I heard from a blogger um, on the same day who said, I've been following the formula of blogging. I've been blogging strategically, but it's just not working. Um, and he'd been promised that if he just you know posted regularly, put the ads in the right spot, built links and, and guest posted on other blogs, that he would have a successful blog um, and so he was purely blogging from a strategic point of view and there was very little heart in his blog and so yesterday I talked a little bit about um, how to do both and so um, blogging from the hearts um, blogging with passion being interested in your topic engaging with your readers telling stories to your readers and generally just being useful in a um, in a a heartfelt way with your readers and, and pouring yourself into your blog and at the other end of the, the spectrum you, you need to think strategically as well about things like how to grow your readership by identifying who you want to read your blog and, and identifying where they are hanging out online and how you can join with them there. Um, thinking about when readers do come to your blog how you can hook them in so um, what is a relevant way for them to subscribe or belong to your blog. Um, and then asking the question, what do I want my readers to do once they're on my blog? Um, the, the number one thing might be to subscribe, but then what? What do you want to lead your, your readers through in terms of a process? So that were some of the kind of things that I was trying to get people to balance. Can you talk a bit about how you encourage them to subscribe? Yeah, so for me on Digital Photography School, which is my main blog, um, I fa have found that email is the best way for them to subscribe. Um, on ProBlogger, it's RSS. So we actually interrupt our readers on Digital Photography School with a pop-up. I know people hate them, but we've got it set that it shows once and once only. And the reason we do it is because we know we can be so much more useful to our readers if they come back not just once, they actually improve in their photography if they come back every week and so we get them to subscribe and then we um, have a, an autoresponder of emails that leads them through um, different ways of engaging with the site so after a couple of weeks they're fully engaged they've commented they've subscribed to us on Twitter or Facebook and they've been reading some of our best articles and by that time they're fans of the site and they're spreading the word for us you don't offer them anything for for signing up. No, I, I I've been tempted to offer you know a free ebook or something like that if you subscribe. But what I fi have found in talking to others is that they often end up with a lot of people who subscribe for the ebook and then unsubscribe or, or they're there for a different reason. And the other thing is we sell ebooks and so by giving a free ebook away, I think I wonder whether you are training your readers to expect that I'm just going to keep giving you free ebooks, um, and and that could be a bit disruptive in terms of our own sales uh, approach as well. That's great. That's really good advice. Thank you so much, Darren. No problem.